Hi, I'm Jay Winnie. I would like to give you an experience and take you on a journey with Johnny Thompson. For the past six years, Johnny has been working on a collection of 20 paintings in oil. They are of landscapes and the people in it. Besides family and friends, you are the first to see this collection. Before I show you the collection, you need to know a little bit about Johnny and what forged him against his own will to put this collection together. As long as I can remember, Johnny has always felt a closeness to God. When he was out in the streets or in the fields to draw, to him, it was a private conversation with God. And now I would like to share this conversation with you. And here is Johnny. Thank you, Jay Winnie. Before we get started, I would like to thank God for my gifts. I'd like to thank YouTube for giving me a platform to share my journey. Also thanks to my friend Jonathan, who's the cameraman. I've always dreamed that my art would bring people together, no matter who they were or where they came from. When I turned nine years old, Everything changed for me on how I looked at the landscape and the people in it. I was sexually abused by my uncle. To this day, I cannot stand a man's sweat or scotch. From then on, I kept my drawings to myself. When I turned 11, I got involved with a group of young artists. Some danced, some sang. Some wrote and spoke in many languages, and then there were some like me who sketched and draw the landscape and the people in it. We spent most of our time in the streets. That is where we found our art. In the 70s and 80s, we got to know a generation of people who lived together through the depression and wars, and they knew and understood sadness and pain. We learned and grew in our art of sadness to appreciate the joyness of life. For most of us, our home lives were bad. What you see now was just as bad then. We just didn't talk about it. There were nine of us in all. Steve and Tony were the oldest. Steve was white. Tony was a boy of a different color. They showed us how to dance, ballet, hip hop, tap, and they were both in love with each other. They showed us it didn't matter in our indifferences as long as we were not ashamed to show our indifference to other. Jamie was the youngest of the group. She spoke and wrote in three languages. She was my best friend. We had a relationship of brother and sister, though I have to admit, she was the oldest of the two of us. I would comment on her stick figures and she would needle me on my spelling and slang words. In 1984, Jamie visited me in the hospital after I attempted suicide. We both agreed that if we made it through our childhood, we would share this journey with others in our heart. Tony and Steve left us first. They died in 79 and 80. And then Jamie was taken from us December 31st, 1987. She was only 17. They're all gone now. Even through all the sadness, there's joy. They live throughout my art. 
Now you're probably wondering why are you sharing this now? Well, I've never been one for reasons why I did things. I just know what my heart tells me. And my heart tells me that now is the right time to, to share it. To me and my friends, art has been a survival kit. We all used our art to get through our childhood. For me, it's like burying my soul that I didn't want anyone to see. For those of you that are going through sadness right now, you too can make it through the sadness as I have through your art. And I would advise you to seek professional help as I have, or I would not be here today. We all have gifts within us. It's just beneath the layers of life and the center of your soul. You just have to find the courage to go there. The last painting I would like to dedicate to the children who have been abused around the world, whether it's been sexual, whether it's been uh, caught in a fire of guns on the streets or used as shields in the wars around the world. The name of the painting is called A Child's Whisper and it is the name of my collection. Maybe the art of life is to avoid the art of pain. But if you avoid this pain, you'll lose the growth in your spirit which guides you in your art of living. I will hope you take this journey with me and share it with others as I have. Well, this is Johnny signing off until our next journey.